Hey, Crazy Will here today. Today we're going to be talking about how to fix the Elegoo Mars LCD screen. I'm going to show you the steps that I'm going to be taking to fix it, so stay tuned! Crazy Will here from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today is not a great day. Unfortunately, the LCD screen on my Elegoo Mars died after 142 prints. I really can't complain about that. So this is an unplanned video. That's why my Ender 3 is making noise in the background. I would never do a print while I am filming. Unfortunately, in this scenario, that's gonna be in the background and I have to fix my Elegoo Mars. This happened. He's got holes. And I was like, is the resin bad? What's going on? After looking at it and going through it, I'm like, this is a fairly new bottle of resin. He shouldn't have holes in his head. I did everything right. The only holes that it should be is at the bottom because I hollowed it out. So I'm like, what could it be? And I have a little file that I put on there that makes the whole LCD screen light up so I could see it. And sure enough, it looked like this. So needless to say, I was very aggravated and I was like, darn it. And I know this is a common thing, but after 142 prints, I don't know if I really could be upset but there was this one guy that said he's printed five hours a day for the last 10 months and he hasn't had to replace the LCD screen so I don't know I do wish Elegoo would make it easier to change the screen I wish it was like a cartridge that you could just put put in and put out I don't know why they didn't do it that way but they didn't so without further ado let's get started I'm gonna fix this bad boy I got the LCD screen delivered today not happy about the packaging I wish it was in a box but I guess a padded envelope is good enough let's get started shall we all right, let's start with the actual product that they sent us. Let's see what this thing looks like for those of you that are interested. All right, so this is the original Elegoo Mars. Apparently there's a Mars one and a Pro one. Looks like the packaging is pretty good. All right, for the Mars, for the Pro. Apparently it is for the Mars or the Pro, but uh, well, maybe it's just the same packaging. All right. There's your LCD screen. I'm guessing these are adhesive strips to put back on the device. I'm going to put these off to the side for now. And then we have some tape, it looks like. Okay, and then we have the connector. Unfortunately, there's three different types of boards. They didn't make it with just one board. So you may need this connector. You may not. We'll find out in a bit when I open it up. And there's the LCD screen. That's it. That's that's the part that's causing all the problems. I'm going to leave that in there because I'm not ready for it yet. Just thought I'd show you. Let's grab the Elegoo. All right, when you got your Elegoo Mars, you had a toolkit. This was in the toolkit, this screwdriver right here. That's what you want. I'm gonna go, go for these two screws on the side. Right here. And then we're gonna go to the other side. Right, we'll put these off to the side. Now the front of this should come off. Just be careful because there is an LCD cable. Right there, take this LCD cable out. We're gonna just push down on this gently. Let's take this tape off. that out of the way push this off to the side okay so it looks like I have the one that's just taped on this is where the LCD screen will go so I don't need that extra piece all right I'm gonna use this tweezers to try and get some of this tape off because it's kind of fighting me this stuff is some sticky crap all right I just gonna get my nail underneath that I'm just gently pull this back if I'm correct it's just taped on there oh no it isn't it is actually a connection yeah it's a connection I'm just gonna, ah, there we go. That's out, goes right there. All right, so now we gotta take this LCD screen off. No way to get from it from on the bottom, so I'm gonna try and use a razor blade and try and get into the corner here. All right, so I'm gonna take a razor blade from here. I'm gonna try and wedge under there. Try not to ruin my finish or break up this LCD screen. And I'm gonna just gently uh, pry underneath there. That looks like that's working out pretty well. All right. Hate working on LCD screens. Although I have done videos in the past. There we go. Alright, All right, just to let you know, it looks like there's a plate of glass on top of here too. I'm not going to touch it. Yeah, it's a plate of glass that in-houses 
gonna show you in, actually in here so you guys can take a look for anybody that's interested. It just looks like a mirrored cone with a UV light at the end. So just if anybody was interested and there is a sheet of glass and it looks like it needs to be cleaned a little bit. So I think I'm gonna do that. All right, so that didn't really come clean. I don't know why. I wiped it down. It looks like it's underneath, believe it or not, but it's fine. It, it's been printing that way the whole time anyway. So let's go ahead and get the new LCD screen in. I'm gonna peel off the back here. like so, so that's ready to go. The sticky piece is still good on mine. I didn't have a problem with that, so I'm gonna reuse it. So put that in position. Try and lay this in, like so. Push that in there. This is the connection. Let's see if we get this. Pushed in. All right. Looks like it gently pushed in. All right. I think that's in. Felt like something clicked. We'll gently put the tape over it. Hopefully this is all in correctly. All right. So now we'll put the front back on. I'm not going to screw it all together yet. I'm just going to see. Make sure the screen works. Put this back in. Just going to push this in. It's just a pressure fitting kind of thing. All right, and then we'll just lay down the tape. And honestly, we didn't even need to take this off. You could probably just flop this down like this and just went for it that way, but I just did it to be safe. All right, now I'm just gonna plug it up and make sure it works. All right, we have success. My little test print that I have going on right now, the whole screen lights up. That looks good. I'm gonna stop that. Now we'll go to exposure test, hit next. There you go. Looks good. Might have a little bit of an issue with that right there, that corner, but I might go away once I do that. Yep, that went away as soon as I took the clear coat thing off. Okay, so nope, it's good. Sorry guys for the bad angles, but my overhead camera wasn't charged and I wasn't planning on doing this video. So basically what we're going to do now is reverse what we did before. <laughs> That's coming out right, but we'll see. Got the Elegoo all up and running, and I'm gonna start a print right now. Right now, I have the Elegoo Mars all hooked up, and it's doing the Yoda print over again to see how the quality comes out. It looks like the screen was working great. So far, it wasn't a hard fix. I'll come back to you in another five hours, and we'll see if Yoda came out correctly. It's been six hours later, and unfortunately, the screen didn't work very frustrating day. I tested it, I showed you on the video I tested it, nothing was wrong. Everything seemed to work out fine. There was nothing on the bed. It was lifted up, but there was nothing attached to it. I tested it, it wouldn't make any patterns. Thinking the ribbon cable, I took it all apart, I'm thinking the ribbon cable wasn't in correctly, so I went in back in there and I tried to, it's not an exact way to get it in there. It's a little frustrating, I'm not gonna lie. It's trying to get that piece just in there just right. It's not really a big clicking noise or anything that I can really hear or kind of feel. Usually when you push stuff like that in you know I've worked on laptops I've worked on anything if you watch the channel I'm very experienced with this stuff and it's just it's a little frustrating I know it's a little push in but it doesn't seem like it's working correctly I started the Yoda print again and we're gonna see what happens fingers crossed all right guys it's the next day got my print five hours later it's still dripping but this is my print got it done by me I got another print done stick into the bed so it is printing I believe it was my fault that I did not make the connection good enough. I'm hoping that it's not the LCD screen or I'm hoping that it's not gonna fritz out on me, but time will tell and I will let you know. And I'll let the company know too. I am a little frustrated with Elegoo in the fact that they should have kind of made this easier to change. I mean, it wasn't that hard, but I think for the average model maker or you know enthusiast that likes to do 3D printing, it's supposed to be a design for an easy 3D print. They should have made it easier for it to come in and out. I think they should make like a cartridge kind of thing if this is a common thing that's gonna be going which they only warranty it for three months on the LCD screen the rest of the machine is only a year which you know that's common only three months on the LCD screen that tells me that that's gonna be a part that's gonna have to be replaced on a regular basis so they should make it like a cartridge that can go in and out I feel you know what do you guys think 
leave a comment down below just because the average Joe Blow isn't gonna take apart the machine and change it. I hope this tutorial will help you do that, but I do think that they should implement it a little bit better and make it easier for the common Joe Blow to take it in and out, like just a cartridge, you know, like slide it in, slide it out. Maybe they'll watch this and maybe they'll get an idea. Hey, that's it for me, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe if this helped you in any way. And ring that bell if you enjoy seeing my funny face on a regular basis. I do a video every Friday. And remember, you can do anything if you put your mind to it. Later, guys. Successful. Surprising. It's over. That's it, guys. I mean, there's other videos up there. Or if you want to do me a huge favor, click the like button or subscribe button's even better.